Uh, China, in terms of AI right now, uh, is they have a lot of investment in in, in the AI fields, and uh, and of course all the AI need to find a place where they can commercialize. And uh, medical field definitely is one area where uh, the uh, there is just area of uh, discrepancies that can be smoothed over by AI. So what we have. We have been working on projects since 2012, looking for the next generation of vision care. So in 2012, I met um, a, 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 a doctor called uh, Brian Holden, uh, who is uh, uh, the leader in the vision care industry, and he told me to look for three things in the future. He said, uh, number one, in China, the kid's vision is going to get worse. So myopia control in China is definitely top, top one priority. Number two, the current level of uh, vision care in China is still very far behind uh, the global standard. So therefore, it's an area where you, to have, you have to pull a lot of investment in. Number three, eyes are, human eyes are very interesting that it is the window to the soul, but it's also the gateway to health. So he was telling me that you know, traditionally, uh, in the in the doctor's office, uh, there, there's a camera called founder's camera or retina camera, where a doctor will take a picture uh, from the back of your eyes, and then they can screen through potential diseases. Uh, it, it has been done for the last 30 years in UK, in the US, in Australia, and he believed that in the future, that job will be taken over by AI. So since 2012, we have been working on. Uh, uh, this type of improvement and in the area of uh, professional training and looking for uh, myopia control methodologies and also looking for AI. And uh, this year, we finally launched the AI service. And so far, it has been very well received. And the, the AI that we, we, uh, uh, we have launched uh, so far this year is that it's actually uh, interesting that uh, DeepMind uh, is doing the same thing. And also in the US, uh, FDA just approved uh, retina camera plus uh, retina picture screening for diabetes conditions. So it's it's actually a global event, not just China doing that. But uh, in China, uh, the AI companies are very far ahead compared to the rest. Now, the, the to put in a very simple sense that we we use a camera. It's called retina camera or fundus camera, going to the back of a human eye, take a picture, and then. We screen through the picture using AI algorithm. Now, human eyes are interesting because it is the only place that we can perform a direct observation, non-evasive, uh, through blood vessel and nervous system. So basically, AI is just getting your eyes without penetrating into yes. anything, without basically cutting anything. Yes. Right. Yes. So that's where AI comes into play. But what would be then, when we're talking about connecting this idea of AI and China, what are some of the benefits the benef of being an AI medical company in China? Uh, the benefit is that, uh, unfortunately, in China, uh, uh, since 2015, China become, uh, is moving into a senior population country. Now, unfortunately, over the last 30, 40 years, that not enough medical resources are deployed evenly. Uh, for instance, most of the best medical resources are, are in the bigger cities, uh, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Chengdu, and all the bigger cities. And, but if you go to tier three, tier two, tier three, tier four, then we have a big discrepancy. And therefore, a lot of uh, mistreatment, uh, a lot of uh, wrong diagnostic uh, situation can happen, and it's actually quite alarming. So. What, what the medical AI will do is that smooth over. For instance, let's say that we have an expert level of a, a medical doctor in Beijing. Uh, you, by training the algorithm with the, uh, the combination of all these uh, experts, we can train the AI and therefore support the rural countryside uh, medical facility doctors so that their level can be elevated. So this is currently what's been done. Uh, in the AI medical community in China.